Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got my birthday nails. That's what we're going to do today. I'm starting off with uh, Nail Teaks Formula 2. And then I'm going to be using this polish from Moonshine Manny. This is a Phoebe Moon polish. It is a beautiful orange hollow. Gorgeous. And the reason why I'm using this one today is because of the name. It's called Summer of 69. And that's when I was born, was Summer of 69. So I wanted to break this out and show you the brush real quick. And then I'm going to show you some uh, live application. It's a very nice brush. It's one of those fatter brushes, which I like. And we're going to go ahead. And I've got most of my nails painted with the first coat, but we're going to zoom in here. If it'll behave. There we go. And we're going to do a coat on my ring finger real quick. It's a very nice polish. I haven't had any issues with application. It's very, very smooth. Considering it's got so much hollow goodness in it, it it's really going on quite well. I'm going to have to turn my nail. I know this is not the most gorgeous looking view, but that's okay. That's how we have to do it. And then I'm going to cap my tips. And then I'm going to have to break out Woody. You guys know Woody's got to show up. Because I always need Woody around. He's he's a it's, a, it's a handy tool. So there we go. We have one coat. I'm going to let this dry down a little bit. And I'm going to come back and do a second coat. Alrighty, I'm back and we're going to go in with the second coat of this. And I'm under the impression with playing this that if you did thicker coats, you could get away with one coat with this polish. I'm a two coat polish girl and I am making a mess. But I do normally do two coats whether it needs it or not. We're going to have to get Woody involved. I was just bragging about the formula on it, and then I have to go get all sloppy with it. Oh, oh well. Alrighty, so there we have two coats. And you can see a little bit of bumpiness, but that's okay, because that's like hollow chunks, and um, my top coat is going to smooth that all the way out. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here and let this dry, and then we're going to do some top coat. Alrighty, we're going to top this one off with some Posh Top Coat and let it dry down before we stamp. I'm going to get this to smooth everything out. Like I said, it's there's little bitty bits of it that's kind of chunky. Um, and that's just the hollow floating around in there. And I don't have a problem with that. I think it's pretty that you're going to have like little spots where the chunks are thicker. If you can see that one like on my ring finger. But we're going to let this dry down and come back and do some happy birthday stamping. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. I am all dried up. And we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to be using this Nicole Diary Bright Blue. And it's NS06. My Born Pretty Scraper. And my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. I'll be using a couple of birthday plates from Bundle Monster today. This first one is BMH19, and the next one is BMH20. And I'm going to use just random different images off of each plate and just kind of let it roll. Just, you know, let, let it be what it is. And I'm going to get started here. I had to get the lid off this Nicole Diary polish. I'm going to use these little party hats first. I just think they're super cute. Loving some party hats. Of course, you won't catch me wearing a party hat. I don't do that. And I'm going to plop that one on right there. And I know a lot of you might be really surprised that I am not painting my nails some kind of princess pink for my birthday. But like I said, this, pol this polish, the name of it was special. And I just decided I really needed to, to do that one. I'm going to use this little image next. I think I like it too. Um, I did think about doing a princess pink nail manicure for my birthday, but I just decided against it. Okay, I'm going to turn this one around. I'm going to go with this one on my 
middle fingernail. There we go. And I'm pretty sure you're probably wondering why is she doing blue and orange. I'm not trying to do any kind of team colors or anything. I was trying to figure out what would stamp and look good over this beautiful orange. And my oldest son said that that blue was the complementary color for orange. So I decided I can do that. That'll, that'll work. I'm going to do these little candlesticks. I've never used this image. I'm going to line that one up right here. Oh, those are so cute. And I like that we're not totally covering it all up. You're still going to be able to see those groovy sparkles from underneath. And no birthday is complete without some cupcakes. We need some cupcakes. And I am going to wear the same manicure over on this hand. I just decided I would just do one on film. I know you all are probably used to me doing different stuff on both hands all the time, but occasionally I do wear the same manicure on both hands. There we go. And now for the last one, let's find a cute little image for our birthday. I think I'm going to go with this little bitty baby cupcake over here. I hope that'll fit. I think that's cute. So excited. There we go. We're going to put this one down here on the end. Right there. There we go. Cute, cute. Alrighty. Let me get some cleanup stuff ready and we're going to do some cleanup. I am back and I'm going to use some of my sparkly glitter that Miss Janine sent me for my cleanup. There's very little to do. A couple of these image dis images didn't even go off of the nail, so I didn't have too much to do. A little bitty bit there. But isn't that sparkly pretty? Thank you, Miss Janine. I appreciate it. I get to clean up my nails and style on my birthday. How cool. Alrighty, so we've got them all cleaned up. It's time for top coat. And today I'm going to be using my posh. I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Let's get Woody ready because we all know I make a mess. Let's zoom you in a little bit. Let me get my hand down here and zoom you in a little bit. Take some of that glaring brightness out of here. So here we go. We're going to get some top coat and seal this design in and call it a happy birthday manicure. Tapping that in and cleaning up with Woody. There we go. I think that's good. And I am trying to float this because I don't want that blue getting smeared all over. to say this is the um, first <laughs> birthday manicure I've ever done in this color combination. Looks like I'm rooting for some kind of sports team with my orange and blue. <laughs> but it's all good. Orange is a very pretty color and I don't wear it enough. It reminds me of sunshine and I like sunshine, ex except for when it's like 100 degrees here, and then I want the sunshine to go away. So, there we go. There is my birthday manicure, and here's my thumb. I guess I need to top coat it, too. It don't need to get left out. A little bit more. So there we go. That is my happy birthday manicure. I hope you guys are having a great day. And that is it. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave me a comment down below. And if you didn't, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you didn't like about it. 
And that is all I have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.